Yeah, um, I think my favorite right now would be um, this. Capturing a band is really um, a hot seat moment, and it's somewhat of a, I'm not going to say lost start, but it's something that doesn't happen a lot, you know, where people are working out sounds and while the band's blazing and, and you know, go past an amazing performance. We've done 17 songs, and there are first takes on every song. Dogs. For this record, Rick is really good. Uh, there's no doubt about it, we needed some confidence and some enthusiasm you know, after spending this time, this long off the road, and this long out of people's faces, you kind of forget uh, your base, you forget what you do, you forget lots of kind of stuff. And basically Rick kind of sat us down and told us we were fucking great and all this kind of shit that we kind of need to hear every now and again. And um, basically his vibe and the way he works is uh, rubbed off well. I've been doing lots of full takes, it's mainly live sort of stuff, so uh, that's kind of different to the way everyone records these days, which is, you know, I think a lot of new bands that do lots of punches in and all that kind of things. I mean, there's one or two that we've done so far, but most of it's been pretty live, and uh, yeah, it's different for us doing it that way, getting it all in one take. It's kind of refreshing to do an album where, yes, everything's got to sound good and, and be played right, but instead of, uh, you know, sort of breaking it down so it's so precise, it sort of you know, maybe loses a bit of um, a bit of spontaneity. This one, we're playing live, we're putting stuff down, we're not over-analyzing. If it sounds good, it sounds good, you know? So uh, it's, yeah, it's, it's, we're all in there playing together and Rick's really pushing that vibe, you know, and he's, he's like, if it's a good performance, let's stick with it, let's not sort of get there with the, you know, the fine tooth comb and try to get overly sort of, you know, take all the fun out of it. Let's make it a, make a fun rock record and, and let's go for it. Yeah, it's good. Chemical Heart was kind of a big radio song. After that, we didn't try and write a radio song with that song or Lost Control. That was just kind of what came out at the time, you know? And I think after that, for the next couple of records, we probably tried to, I don't know, I guess it probably scared us a little bit because we thought that that's what we needed to do because it was a successful record for us and everyone likes it, obviously the trappings of success, you know what I mean? But then I think by basically try, trying too hard to do something that maybe didn't come super natural to us, this kind of ballading or poppy kind of songs, then I think we kind of headed off in the direction. And I think with this record, we wanted to go back and play to our strengths and do a, you know, a fun rock and roll record, you know, that didn't take it too, itself too seriously and had some good ball tearing, grinspoon rock and roll songs on it.